Good afternoon, everybody. It's Steve with Real Progressives. Went to bed last night after doing my live stream on um, the Disrupt J20 and the Occupy inauguration and the arrests and the broad sweeping changes appear to be coming over us as we try to um, let people know how upset and frustrated we are with the way things are with our government today, the way things are with our politicians and the way things are with our country in general. We have keep getting stifled and keep getting shut down, if you will. Different things keep coming through and keep stopping us from making progress. And, you know, people talk about the deep state. I'm not going there. People talk about, uh, you know, money in politics. So it's, it's been there and it's going to get worse. Um, I'm telling you right now that the problem that we need to worry about is with us. The problem is with us. We cannot put the problem on anyone else. We cannot ever allow us to look outside ourselves if we are going to make change. I'm telling you this. I swear to you, as someone who believes beyond words, that if we don't keep the focus on our own behavior and our own mission and our own goals and objectives, if we continue to focus on why the other guy is blocking us from making progress, we're going to stay stuck. I swear to God, I have watched over and over again. I call this repeatedly the progressive give up strategy. It is the ultimate get out of having to do anything card. It is the card that we use. And I'm telling you, I am hard on us there is a reason I am hard on us. It has got nothing to do with not hating and despising Republican ideology. It has nothing to do with not hating or despising Donald Trump. It has nothing to do with not hating and despising the corporate takeover of many of our institutions in America. It is really 100% about us being the only people that can do this. It is about us being the ones that I'm looking to, to rise up and make a change. We have unfortunately allowed ourselves to feel hopeless and helpless and powerless and are unwilling to do what it takes to win. And I kid you not, we're telling you you don't have to like the word modern monetary theory. I don't care if you like the word or not. Let's just get one thing straight right here, right now. I don't care what the word you use for it is. The reality is, is that our government wrote a law. Our government, our government wrote a law that made the U.S. dollar. Our government is the creator of the U.S. dollar. It is ruled and governed by the rules of our country. The Federal Reserve, regardless of all the gibberish, was created in an act of Congress by our government. It is controlled by laws made by our government. Which means that any laws that are there are laws that can be changed by our government. But it requires you and I to believe in what we're fighting for and to be in solidarity and to be in unison. The problem is, is that the progressive movement is being sucked into this libertarian ideology, this anarchist ideology. Anarchists do not want a strong central government. Anarchists do not want these things. The libertarians do not want a strong government. They do not want a government that can actually take care of the people. I am pleading with you to consider, to just consider that our government isn't broke, that it's the people who are broke. I'm pleading with you to understand that our government is the creator of the dollar. It is not broke. It does not require an income. Our federal government is the creator of the dollar. We require an income. We require money. We, 
the people require services. We the people require it. <coughs> the federal government is not broke. It is not broken. It is not dying because it doesn't have tax dollars. It's not going to dry up because we cut taxes or we raise taxes. What's going to happen is our government has been able to lie to us. And therefore, you all repeat that lie. Our government, even Bernie Sanders, you know, horrible, horrible people who don't realize that we supported Bernie Sanders and still continue to support draft Bernie for a People's Party and a million other things. When we criticize Bernie, we are well within our rights because we're decent human beings who are able to speak truth. We're not losers that follow people blindly. You have to be a loser to be able to not hear the defenses that we put forward. We are not here to destroy Bernie or destroy the Green Party or destroy anything. We're here to make them stronger and better. We're here to provide air cover, to produce the truth, because it's we the people that are the only ones that are going to be able to stand up and say this stuff. Do you understand me? Politicians have to get elected. They're going to go by what you believe. And if you're dumb or you're ignorant or you refuse to learn, then the politicians are going to continue to say things the way that you think they should be, which is like a household budget. You, when you do that, you literally cripple our ability to take care of our children. You literally cripple our ability to take care of the environment. You literally cripple our ability to end wars for oil that could be satisfied immediately with green energy. You alone do that. That is why I am angry at us, we, the progressive movement. Because we have to embrace the facts, not some lies, not some Alex Jones wannabe lies. The ones that tell us that our government is broke and it's been bankrupt since 1933 and because we got off the gold standard and all this other bullshit. Folks, I'm telling you right now, it is up to us and no one else. The government's not going to tell you the truth. Your politicians are not going to tell you the truth until one of them grows a damn spine. It is up to us. And if you allow people to cut your legs out and lie, if you, I don't care what group it is, I don't care what movement it is, I don't care what party it is, if they're not telling you the truth that the United States government creates its own money, if they're not telling you that the government can afford to take care of our needs, if they're not telling you that we can retrofit every smokestack in America with our own sovereign currency, if they're not telling you that they are lying to you and they're not worthy of fo being followed, I'm not joking. If they're not telling you that they can give you a national health care service that doesn't cost you money, they are lying and they have therefore forsaken their righteousness at the top. They should not be worshipped. You can still support someone that's wrong, but you should always be there to educate. If you think that telling someone the truth makes you a Bernie basher, you have lost your right to be of any value to this movement. You are absolutely worthless as a wet piece of toilet paper. If you think that telling the Green Party that they're AMI stuff that doesn't give you a new deal that literally makes it so that you got to end the Fed, then you got to green the dollar, then you've got to do all these things before you save the first life. If you think that telling them that's bullshit is somehow or another bashing the Green Party, then you have lost all rights to any kind of credibility. You have lost your right to say you're a revolutionary. You are no longer fighting for anything of substance. Fighting for a party is not the same thing as fighting to save lives. Fighting for a party is not the same thing as fighting for green energy. Fighting for a party or a politician is not the same thing as trying to save a life through stem cell research. Fighting for a party or for a politician is not the same thing as trying to make sure that everyone has free college and we end student debt. That is not the same thing. And stop conflating the idea that because you love Bernie, that somehow or another you're doing a great thing. You love Bernie, that's fine. But that is not the same thing as freaking Medicare for all, for all, free, whatever, even better, National Health Service. Do not confuse your love 
of the Green Party, or your love of Jill Stein, or your love of Bernie Sanders, or your love of any one of these politicians. Do not confuse that as equaling high-speed rail. Do not confuse that with a federal job guarantee to eradicate involuntary unemployment. Do not confuse that with saving Puerto Rico from a hurricane disaster. Do not confuse a trip to Puerto Rico as somehow or another saving the Puerto Ricans from disaster. Do not ever pat yourself on the back because you love a politician and you think they're so great. Do not ever pat yourself on the back for that. That is not revolutionary. That is not integrity. That is not character. That is called cult worship. That is called hero worship. And it is called a nothing burger. Now, if they happen to support the right things and they're not peddling lies that keep us away from the goalposts, that's fine. I support a lot of people when they're right. But I'm also a human being and I care enough about my children that I don't blindly support them. That I don't run around talking about Bernie all day long. I run around talking about a new deal all day long. I run around talking about the economics underlying it that will literally make it happen all day long. I talk about saving lives all day long. I do not sit there and worship at the cult and altar of Bernie Sanders or Jill Stein or the Green Party or anything else. I don't care if Bernie smiled brightly on stage the other night. Who gives a fuck? I don't care if Bernie ran through an airport. I like Bernie. I like Jill. I like the Green Party. I like progressives wherever they are. But do not confuse that with saving one single life. Do not think that you're somehow or another doing God's... And you know what? When I see these hero worshipers out there, I know they're just looking for like-minded clickbait. People liking their posts. Woo, God. Ah. It's like a shot of heroin every time they get a like or something like that. Folks, I'm telling you right now, I don't want to be a part of a coalition if that coalition isn't going to get me a new deal. I don't want to be a part of a coalition that is not telling the truth about economics. I don't want to be part of a coalition that is not going to step up and save lives. I don't want to be a part of anything that doesn't have truth as its first priority, second priority, third priority, and fourth priority. I don't want to be part of anything that just is a go-along to get along herd thing. I don't want to be a part of it. I don't even want to be in the same zip code of it. I'm telling you right now, folks, I swear to God, I put an article into the narrative of this video. I'm asking you to click on that article and read it. I'm telling you right now, we need to act as though when we don't speak truth about economics, it's like us diving in front of a bullet headed for our child's head. We need to be acting as if it's that level of seriousness. The seriousness, the urgency must be there. Folks, I cannot put it to you strongly enough. I cannot tell you this strongly enough. We can do great things right now. And if they're not going to tell the truth about it, let's make it so goddamn painfully freaking just awful, make their existence a living hell. Troll them, chase them, talk to them, write them, freaking show up at their freaking uh, media conferences, show up at their town halls, make them answer these questions. Do not let them just get a bunch of loves and likes. Do not let them just say stupid things. You make them understand. Lives are on the line right now. People are suffering right now. Right now. God damn it, right now people are dying. How many times have you walked through your local city and you've seen somebody curled up under a cardboard box? How many times have you seen someone begging for change just to get a goddamn hamburger? How many times have you seen our Comedians, our alternative media people peddling the same neoclassical lies that the goddamn establishment does and they're trying to run around calling themselves woke as fuck. 
How many times? Do you know how many lives are lost based on peddling that myth? Our government is not the one that is dire need of money. We are. Our government is not the one that's in dire need of jobs. We are. Our government is not the one in dire need of green energy. We are. Our government is not in dire need of federal student loan debt relief. We are. And when people are too cowardly to speak boldly, when people are too cowardly to question, when people are too cowardly to speak truth to power, people die. People die. And I don't care about my tone anymore. Guys, I'm serious. Maybe there's somebody else out there that wants to be the sweet, benevolent one that runs around stroking people in the chin and whispering in their ear. That ain't me. And it never will be me. And I'm sorry I'm going to let some of you down because I can't be that guy. I cannot be that guy. I will not sit there and tell you freaking conspiracy stories either to get likes and clicks. I will not go down rabbit holes that are stupid and unwarranted just to get likes and clicks. Folks, I want to save lives today. You and I are the only ones that can do this. It is our movement's righteous calling to do this. This is what we were brought into existence for. This is our moment. This is what we do. We speak truth to power. We tell each other. We don't let each other go into lies. The big lie is that our government needs money. Our government doesn't need money. It makes the money. It creates it. Our government neither has money nor doesn't have money. It keystrokes every single penny into existence. Every single fucking penny. How in the world, how in the world can you justify cutting spending when we are suffering? How can you justify lying and talking about ending the fucking Fed when you don't even know what the fucking Fed does? How in the world can you get around it when the reality is, is that we need to spend money on the people today? Folks, I swear on my life, I look at my son and I look at him and I hold him in my arms. And I say to him, I am so sorry, son. I don't know that I can get us there by myself. I want to do this. If I could do it 36 hours a day, I would. But I don't have 36 hours a day. I still have to work for a living. I still have to tend to my family's needs, pay my bills, do my chores, things like that. And then whenever I can, I slip real progressives in because this is that important to me. And I'm praying to God it's that important for you all too. I'm praying to God that when you see someone out there that is like shuffling around, like seriously, I support draft Bernie, but you know what? I will tell the draft Bernie people flat out if they're economically wrong. And I will tell them, I will not stand by if they do something wrong. PIP, the same thing. Progressive Independent Party, they're building coalitions. I love and support them, but guess what? If they don't say the right things on economics, I will be there to make sure that I raise enough hell that they hear me. I will go to the Green Party, as I've done several times, and I will speak truth to power there, and I will tell them the way it is. I will talk to the people from the Socialist Alternative and any of the other ones out there, and I will tell them because I want them to be successful, but they cannot be successful in a fake world. They cannot be successful in a fake world, a religious belief, a fake economic narrative. We must live in reality because people are depending on it. I'm telling you, we have no time to waste, none. Every minute you waste is an act of a privileged soul. Every time you deny this shit, it's an act of a privileged soul. People that don't have the ability to take care of themselves or their family or their kids are depending on us because, and they don't know. They're ignorant because they've never been taught. But you're not telling them because you're too busy being part of the gang. You don't want to disrupt the apple cart. You're afraid you'll be seen as a loon or a kook telling the truth. And I'm telling you right now, the truth is the only thing we got going for us. Because ain't nothing else happening for us without it. Not a damn thing. 
I'm begging you. I'm pleading with you with all my heart. I am begging you to realize that the economic narrative it is for minorities to save the inner cities, to wreck, just completely eradicate poverty. I'm telling you it is there for women to ensure that nobody ever says that their health services are not worthy of being paid for by the federal government. I'm here to tell you it's for men. I'm here to tell you it's for every person in this country, including immigrants. Every single problem you hear about is a direct result of the things I'm talking about. It is ground zero of every single one of them. I'm begging you, hear me and take action. Hear me and take action. Learn and take action. Do not let the conspiracy bullshit sidetrack you. Do not let Cheeto Lini sidetrack you. Do not let the latest thing with the Republicans and the Democrats sidetrack you. Do not allow bullshit to sidetrack you. Social Security is not going broke. Social Security is another thing the federal government keystrokes into existence. Everything that I've just told you is a keystroke away from happening. Keystrokes, keystrokes, keystrokes. Please take this and run with it. I'm Steve Grumbine with Real Progressives. Have a great day, everybody.